This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Female pump attendant gunned down in Portmore identified. The police have released more information on yesterday afternoon's killing of a female pump attendant at a gas station in Portmore, St. Catherine. The deceased has been identified as Chevelle Lewis. Police say Lewis is from Windsor Heights in Central Village, St. Catherine, and have named her as the sister of an alleged violence producer named Kemar Clark O.C. Sandman of Windsor Heights. Still, no motive has been established for her killing. According to law enforcers, at about 4.20 p.m., Lewis was at the Petcom Phoenix service station, Cedar Manor, Passage Fort Drive, serving a customer when she was pounced upon by two men traveling on a motorcycle. One of the men reportedly alighted from the bike and opened fire, hitting Lewis in the upper body. The men then managed to escape in the direction of Independence City. Six spent casings were found on the scene, the police said. Commuters left stranded in Linstead as a taxi operator strike. Hundreds of commuters in Linstead, St. Catherine, were left stranded on Tuesday afternoon after taxi operators withdrew their services. The operators were protesting against the new traffic changes implemented by the authorities last week as part of measures to reduce congestion in the town. A taxi operator who spoke with the news argued that under the new changes, Operators are being unfairly prosecuted for operating on their designated routes. It is impossible for taxi man cannot use Market Street to traverse into Linstead. And that is where our road license prohibit us to go. Grant us to go. Yeah, that's where it grants us to go. So we don't understand now what is the changes. If they, if, if they divert us to another location, that will be totally against our road license. That will be contrary. We are looking at 7,005 tickets and we are looking at record. At 20. Plus record. Plus record. So we are saying to the relevant authority, you need to go back to the drawing board, meet with us. See how best we can settle this situation because it's really not, it's not working. It, it took me one hour from Baptist Corner to come to the end of this street. And that is totally impossible for us. One of the commuters who was left stranded by the taxi strike said she did not know how she would get home, but she also disagreed with the change because taxis have detoured now. That's why it takes so long. I hear over two hours now waiting on the cab and no cab to take me home. And if you don't get in the taxi, you have a money. And I have to go walk or sleep in Linstead tonight. Yeah, yeah because they have detour now. That's why it takes so long. You have to go from one section to the other to reach to where we destination where we're going. So you so you agree with the change or you disagree? With no, we disagree with the change. Monday is school and the taxi is striking today. All the children are going to manage for school on Monday. But Sidney Rose, counsel for the Treadways Division, has said he is surprised by the protest action by the taxi operators in Linstead. Mr. Rose told the news that the traffic changes were proposed by the taxi associations as part of a pilot project during a recent meeting involving the Municipal Corporation, Transport Authority and the police. Still, the St. Catherine police are insisting that a crackdown will continue as it seeks to restore order in the town of Linstead. Inspector Damien Butler who is in charge of operations at the Linstead Police Station, told the news that the town has been overrun with taxi operators, so the new initiative is to see how best that we can bring back some form of semblance in regards to traffic flow in the township. Um, on a daily basis, the town is overrun by taxi by, by tax operators. So we, along with the parish council, we are trying a new initiative to see what best we can with the town of Linstead, of um, the taxi operators, to see what best we can bring back some form of semblance in regards to traffic flow in, town, in the township. We have also implemented some new changes in regards to the routes and, the, and, the, and some routes that we intend, intend to convert into, in, into one way. Um, we, since we've been here this morning, we have had 100% um, compliance, I would say. Uh, most of the tax operators are complying as far as we're concerned. Some persons are, 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 are not so uh, agreeable on, on what is happening. But it's going to take some time for us to, for us to get used to the new changes in the, in the township of Linstead. Clarendon father charged with incest. A 49-year-old Clarendon man has been arrested by police after he was accused of sexually assaulting his 15-year-old daughter. The man has since been charged with incest. The child is now a ward of the state. 
The incident reportedly happened at their home last October, but the man was recently charged by the police. It is reported that on the child's birthday, the accused, who is her biological father, sexually assaulted her. The child reported the incident to the police, who presented the information to the court by reporting the matter to the sitting judge. A statement was recorded from the complainant, and the accused was subsequently arrested and charged. More than 1,000 people murdered so far this year. As the authorities grapple with a spike in crime and violence, data obtained by the news has revealed that the country has recorded more than 1,000 murders since January. The 1,003 homicides were recorded up to August 29 when compared with 951 murders registered over the corresponding period last year. This represents a 5.5% spike in murders. Ten of the 19 police divisions are now seen an upsurge in murders, shootings and other serious crimes. The St. James Police Division have so far recorded the highest number of murders with 134, followed by Westmoreland with 97, St. Catherine North with 99, St. Andrew South 88, and St. Catherine South 81. Even as firearm seizures continue to increase, the majority of crimes committed are gun-related. According to the data, 741 people have been shot and injured in gun attacks across the island since January. Some 765 injuries were recorded over the same period last year. The data underscores the illegal gun problem in the country and is why Prime Minister Andrew Holness recently called for greater collaboration among CARICOM countries to combat the flow of ammunition and weapons into the region. Investigators are also probing 263 cases of rape, 53 fewer than the 316 cases reported last year. There has also been a 14% increase in robberies and a 6% increase in break-ins. The Private Sector Organization of Jamaica has called for Prime Minister Andrew Holness to hold a Vail Royal Summit with the parliamentary opposition in a bid to identify solutions to the country's growing crime problem. Street side killing stokes new fears for Kingston's homeless. Hilaroy Anderson and Beris Thomas, two homeless men living on the streets of Kingston, wished they had other alternatives than the colder concrete sidewalks or benches at the Kingston Public Hospital to sleep at night. Safety is a major concern for both men who are haunted by the fear of nighttime attackers on the homeless, with at least nine killed in the last 20 months. The latest victim was Lionel Johnson, who was pronounced dead at KPH after he was set ablaze at the Western Hero Circle in Kingston as he slept. Thomas, who is based at Hanover Street near the Marie Atkins Night Shelter, told the news that he wants somewhere to live. He is hopeful of being gifted a plot of land someday. Sometimes upper public may go and sleep at night time. Them not trouble you up there, he said. Thomas has been homeless for three years and has said he left his home on Regent Street in Kingston because of a family feud over land left by his parents. His mother died in 2008. He is aware of Johnson's demise and is conscious that people will hurt the vulnerable. People fling stone after you and take it for all joke, he said. Anderson, who is also known as Sweetie Man, was familiar with Johnson, whom he saw from time to time. He too is fearful of the future. He has been homeless since 1991. It is my intention to come off the road, Anderson said. Anderson, who is from East Kingston, told the news that a lack of love from his parents pushed him to fend for himself. Four homeless men were killed in a night of terror in January 2021. A fifth died later that month. The police reported that the suspect was killed some time after, but Anderson believes that another suspect who is also homeless, still walks the streets. He is still alive. I heard that he was killed by the police, but I see him since. He is a deportee too. Him don't trouble anybody, Anderson said. He was convinced an incident may have triggered the actions of the suspect who targeted his victims. Anderson said he shuns the shelter because some fellow homeless folk are dishonest. The people them at the shelter are very ungrateful and cannot team. They rob each other. Homeless rob homeless. Dog I eat dog. Most of us in this predicament have this one thing in common. We are very unthankful, both the male and the female, said Anderson. Attempts to speak with an administrator at Marie Atkins Night Shelter were unsuccessful. A security guard at the facility related to the media that she was in a meeting and was unavailable for comment. 
A $500,000 reward is being offered by the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development for information leading to the arrest of Johnson's killers. Johnson was well known to the Kingston and the St. Andrew Poor Relief Department, which regularly supported him by providing food. At times, he stayed at the night shelter at Church Street. Minister of Local Government and Rural Development Desmond McKenzie and the Mayor of Kingston Delroy Williams have condemned the murder of Johnson. Jamaica's homeless population is in excess of 2,000, with at least half of that number in the corporate area. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.